Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Q&A. If I missed your question, please leave it down below and I'll try to respond to it myself or maybe we'll even do it in next month's video. Let's get started. What helps to prevent or treat sunburns? Uh, so I spoke about this in my tanning video two weeks ago and it looks like YouTube is doing a great job of notifying you guys. Since it's already late June, the sun is strong enough that it's hard to adapt your skin gently. After you do burn once or twice, you should be recovered and the burn should turn into a tan. If not, you don't have adequate B vitamins and nutrition in your diet. You could also be very toxic, have too much omega-6 if you're not eating clean and organic. Talk about cold showers. Is it legit or BS? I mean, there are definite physiological benefits of taking cold showers that are proven. The immediate ones are from increased circulation, your body transporting blood in an attempt to stay warm. I think long term, your body will develop brown fat, which helps you stay warmer in the winter. And that brown fat burns a lot of calories. So your body will try to get rid of it in the warmer months to conserve energy. I might do a whole video on cold showers. Can you cover the effect of alternative sweeteners on gut microbiome? So I did a video on artificial sweeteners over a year ago now, and it's why I recommend actual organic sugar or honey. The artificial sweeteners are causing imbalances and killing bacteria, whereas the sugar is at least feeding your microbiome. Can you cover the importance of sleep? Honestly, I'm worried about you and your sleep only because I suffer from sleep issues and you never mention it and work long hours. While I do get to sleep as much as I can, the liver damage and gut issues in the past sometimes give me insomnia. It's not really that I don't have time to sleep, it's that when I try to sleep, I just don't, although it's getting much better now. The most important thing is to reduce EMF. If you do that and sleep as much as your body wants in circadian rhythm, you will be healthy. And it is hard for me because you know I get home tired from work, I take a nap, and then I have to get up, film my daily video, do customer service for my businesses, eat, and I don't sleep really well when I'm not in that circadian rhythm. So hopefully in the next year or two, I get some financial relief and can hire someone to help me out and maybe I don't have to do these videos every day to maintain a customer base. Eating disorder recovery. I mean, I've wanted to do a video on this for a while, Women have so many bodily expectations due to things I can't talk about, particularly boys and dresses, but if you eat a high quality diet, rich in animal foods, get plenty of sun, and reduce EMF, it doesn't matter how much you eat, you will get healthier. Lose weight, put on muscle naturally, and be attractive, look womanly. And what I eat every day, steak, cookies, pasta, I still have a beach body and look good, but it's hard to educate people and get them past modern conventional advice. You know, even my mother has just been doing the same thing over and over again, working out twice a day, eating crap food, hasn't lost a pound, and people really can't get past what they've been told their whole lives. When Frankie's free range meat produces chicken eggs, will they be healthy, balanced enough to eat daily? And I think that person also asked me what I would feed my chickens. And I'd love to tell you guys this, but with the amount of times I've seen this question on my channel, just like many others, I'm led to believe it's just the secret society degenerates trying to steal more of my ideas. I can't count how many times that's happened so far, how discouraged I've been, how upset I've been, how I wanted to even quit YouTube. But more recently, I noticed a few new brands of water kefir on Amazon coincidentally timed when I made my water kefir videos. When I try to sell on Amazon, I just get censored, no sales. So I guarantee you, if I tell you what I will feed my chickens, Whole Foods will probably be selling those eggs in a few months. And not to sound arrogant, but compared to these degenerates, I'm a creative genius that has been taken advantage of far too many times by a bunch of money-hungry sauna lovers that will never give anything back. They just keep the money to themselves. They fund their lavish lifestyles by the houses and cars they want. And whether it takes me one year, 
10 years, the rest of my life, I will make sure I put all of these motherfuckers out of business. What do you think about Ray Pete's work? I normally just remove comments and ban people that mention someone else's name because they're all in that secret society degenerate club, no matter how good their appearance is, and a bunch of shills. You know what happens when I reach out to those people? Don't even get an email response. And then you have some random person you've never heard about talking to them on a podcast. They're right about some things, wrong about others, but if you support these people, as I just said, you're padding their bank accounts. They will never give you anything truthfully and affordably. Dude's got half a head of hair and looks like his skin's fucking peeling off. Listen to me instead, dummy. And I guarantee you, if I live that long, I'm going to look twice as good. And the reason I'm addressing that is because I don't want to ban my regular viewers and supporters. So if I let you guys know my thoughts on that, you'll refrain from posting those comments. What's your view on fasting? I have so many videos on fasting, you could just search for it on my channel. Overall, the average standard American dieter should definitely not be fasting. Even the average healthy person does not have their diet in check enough to be fasting. My friend told me to eat some bull testicles while I was in South Dakota, but I didn't because I'm not sure what the transient elevation in testosterone will do to me. Well, I'm not too sure the testosterone is bioavailable unless it's completely raw. So if it's cooked, you don't really have to worry about it. But with our modern disruption in hormonal function, women might need more testosterone or their testosterone might be too high. The only way to know is to get a blood test, see where those levels are. I don't think it would ever cause damage long term. It's just, you know, if you're already low on estrogen and high on testosterone, it could make things temporarily more imbalanced. The importance of allergy blood tests to identify food intolerances. It's relevant to show what foods your gut can't tolerate at that point in time. By no means is it genetic or permanent. Allergies can be fixed if the environment is fixed. Your diet is healthy, EMF is reduced, and toxins are removed, but that typically takes years. How much protein would you consider too much protein? What's your preferred fat to protein ratio? I made a video about protein and kidney health and many videos about fat where I've covered these questions in depth. The simple answer is to eat protein, fat, and carbohydrates, each of the three macronutrients to satiation in a balanced meal. That's why you guys are seeing me eat like rice with coconut oil and meat. It's, it's a good way to simplify those macronutrient ratios and get your natural satiation in check. Thoughts on vegetable and fruit juice. Vegetable juice is full of toxins, agrochemicals, whatever it was grown with, except it's even worse because you're dousing your stomach in liquid with dispersion over your gut compared to eating the regular vegetable. And you're using generally such a high volume of vegetables to extract that juice. Certainly anti-nutrient concerns with specific vegetables. Fruit juice, possibly the same problem, but the high fructose content in liquid form usually causes dysbiosis, gut bacterial imbalance, and liver issues for many people. Although fruit is typically higher in water, so something like apple juice or pineapple juice is much more realistic on occasion if it's organic, but you want to be careful, just see how you feel after drinking it. Are there any alternatives you would recommend for caffeine? Uh, so I use the natural B complex and antioxidant support on organ supplements. I mean, you could just get uh, B vitamins and those antioxidant stuff, but the way I formulated it, it's safe and effective. Uh, plus some vitamin D if you're really tired. With a meal, you should be good to go as long as you don't eat too much. If not, then some organic chocolate isn't that bad if you do want caffeine. How to cure homosexuality. Uh, so we did a video titled, A Vegan Diet Will Make You a Fairy Boy, where I explained some science behind this. Uh, to my understanding, the sex you're attracted to is determined in early stages of life by hormones. But if you alter hormones later in life, you'll still be attracted to that same sex, but certain things can change. Like if you want to dominate a girl or be dominated, I've also noticed, especially girls that take birth control and get more estrogen, become attracted to different types of men than they were before. I actually met one girl and we were going out for a little bit and then she started birth control and she dumped me. So, uh, 
kind of funny story, but it really can change your attraction and, and what you feel like doing. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, maybe next time I'll answer a lot more questions and make this video longer. I'll see if that's what you guys want. You know, I could go for 15, 20, 25 minutes. I'm just not sure how many people will watch the full duration. Uh, so if you can please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank com and support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you for tomorrow.